Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again, and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. Yep. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Alrighty, so I was right. You can't really see it because me in the way. But this little four block right here, right here, is Polis. So we're pretty fucking close. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Man, I wonder if it's such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Oh, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? We gather the men first. We're waiting for the guy. I'm not going to this. This happens all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time it's us. Would be long before Fiora has the station to himself. But what do we do now? Live! And be glad we won't have our skulls measured every day. Oh, I'm, I'm fainting. Hard to breathe. Calm down. Take a breath. Everything is alright. Everything is it Looks fine. like the guy that got executed for his skull being measured, actually. Kind of makes that funny. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And revolution is fitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through, and you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. I don't have a good feeling about this. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Who does that? Pavel needs some time to set everything up. The citizens of other stations need a permit to enter the red line. The state in permanent preparation for war readily sees a spy in any outsider. So I have some time to look around the theater. The station is a real legend of the metro, not unlike Polis. The difference being that while Polis gathered most of the surviving scientists, the theater is considered to be the cultural capital of the metro. <clears throat> That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> So what am I supposed to do here? You're shot. Meet Pavel at the theater entrance. Dark one's been sold to a hand street. Okay. And we have a key for a safe somewhere. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There's a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, and even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Balfoy. Okay. This station's overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth, and I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art, and these put so nah, yeah, I don't see you be a critic in this, this time being very useful. I'd be kind of pissed at you if you were just a fucking downer. The showy shit! Well, get the fuck out. There's just, like only 20 of us here. I will argue that even the hungry need art for thinking on its 
exalted matters, dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, sadly, true art is twenty years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger... This bitch don't shut up. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Ah, so there are still men, not just marionettes. So I got double points, I guess, for that one. Woo! I distrust myself. That guy is drunk. Those guys are drunk. When all around us, radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Can, can I get a drink? Oh god, he's got a lot of shit. Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. A drink and a show warms your body and soul. Give yourself to your loved ones the gift. We may as well end it all. I like how he has a feather on. <laughs> I got a fluka. So, when does our guest arrive? The masked one. The scythe. Is it something Look as if mushrooms with mushroom sauce. Hey, keep your head up in the pot. One of the measures had a thing for me. An overshot filter. She told me all about their gotcha. standards, Sorry. about the racial struggle to keep humans free Why? From the what happened? But Let really, they're just it. dumping the defense. Oh, How? Some guy died. We're heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. The Two of us killed the demon. What the fuck are you guys doing? But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die. No, Katya, we tried to save him, but it was too late. No, Vitya! Don't your chest! We buried him in the wood place. We put white stones on the grave. Let her be. I really want to turn that light off. <laughs> Their puppets just go away. It's a is a jackal? Jackal. It's a jackal. See, I got it right. He stopped since I said jackal. We're right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon. Well, it's all right. Let it be a demon. But there used to be birds like this. Oh, birds. Birds. Are they mean like demons? No. They were beautiful. Some were big, but small. Oh, history. Birds didn't attack people. They will wake you in the morning with their songs. Now, what animal is this one? Could it be an The jackal. The, the nose is that? too big, though. Serge, did your dad tell you about beasts like that? No. And he was everywhere. Even the library. Even the park. He saw a bear once. <gasps> you fuckers are talking. It's an elephant. You saw oh, them in the did not look like an elephant to me. Could I had no I fucking idea what it was. The elephants, oh, they were large, but they never attacked first, only when they were provoked. But if they got mad, they could stomp you. That's just like an Ocellus. Dad says if a big Ocellus starts running, she stomps everything in their path. She'll even stomp her own kids. Well, really? they could be related. They had elephants at the zoo after all. The Bolshoi so Theater, they definitely the are smaller Russia, now if they the are the of the metro. Tonight And what only. kind of bird is this? Swan? I don't see a swan at all. It was in a book, and Mama has a picture of it with those numbers in the corner. She has it hanging on the wall. On the wall. At least, that is a swan. And why are you boys keeping silent? You saw the book and saw the calendar at Aunt Mama's. These motherfuckers talk forever. This is the only way to get good points is you have to listen. It does look like the picture in the book, but this one was moving. Look, boys. Try imagining that they're still... Well... All right. Who is this? This is definitely a spider bug. Look at its mandibles. Or is it its no, no, It's a goat. All right, I'm already done. I can't deal with that anymore. It's the horns. It's scary. Does it hate life too? Mama says it butts you with ease. I'm so afraid of goats. I can't deal with it anymore. So, Nikitish, when do we become your father? Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? 
two days with you. Then my life is over. So good to the end. At least I had some fun in the end. I really don't need ammo. You give up already? Shit. You can still make it to Stalkers. Instead of near I don't care about that. Good luck. Come again. I got money for three days. So drinks are on me. Self-defense is everyone's right. Protect yourself. Buy a gun. This. Sure, it is a single shot gun, but even one blast from it is usually enough. Um, incendiary grenades guaranteed to keep your enemy warm. Put a sight on it. Enter, yes, room for reflex sight on it. Silent and deadly. Ooh. Yes. Okay, we're gonna customize this thing. Bullets, bullets, purchase, exchange, sale. Yeah, we're gonna go do this. Seats. That was pretty nifty. Got that going on already. Alright, I think we're pretty good. Yeah. Well feel free to drop by. A stalker. Man, if we ever need help with like carrying something heavy from the surface, we'll be ready to join you in a couple of days. We won't charge much. Okay. Ammo and gear for sale. Bullets exchange. Leather, best leather goods, original designs, low prices. This is great stuff. The best you'll find. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. He's smoking weed. You can drink anywhere. This is a theater. Anything goes. But hey, I won't twist your arm. Just don't come back in ten minutes when you change your mind. It all be gone. Wait a minute, bullets, I gotta think. Bullets, purchase, think faster. Sale. Look, there is another tourist there. If you don't buy this, he's sure to. Alright, alright, I'm taking it. You're buying. Yeah, thanks, man. If not for you, I'd never get the sucker to buy. If you want some for yourself, come back in the evening. I'm waiting for a new supply. Come back later. This shit will knock you out. I learned about drugs. Yay, I learned about the world. New note. No wonder the world famous Bolshoi Theater is right above that station. There are rumors that there are underground passages from its basement into the metro, and that's the reason why many of its actors and other staff were able to save themselves on Judgment Day. They founded a new Bolshoi down here at the station. It station. It is a theater rumor. It is the theater rumors of which reach even in the farthest corners of the metro. And since the habitable world ends where the metro line ends, you could say that the new Bolshoi is also known around the world. Some say it actually preserve, per, preserves the tradition of its great predecessor. They say that the earth continues to spin while the Bolshoi still puts on the shows. I wish to see one of those. Perhaps I finally got my chance. I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the theater. Nice. Did you hear that? Oh, sure. 
Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The can Oh. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at them. Those things are a jiggling. Holy shit. You too, Jerry Bear. You have a good night. The Vulture stage has never witnessed anything like this before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race part of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. Okay. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire. Oh god. His uh, terror of our city. Nathalises? Did he, can, did he shame Nathalises? Why to be like a little kitten? No, it isn't a solace. Species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beast, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> and they went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition. And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. Jesus. We give you the genius of chamber music, the famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece. My heart reaches for the sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bar. A round of applause, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh God, what's this gonna be? Up? Ready? Jesus Christ, the tit physics are ridiculous. Look at those fuckers bounce, man. Good God! Every, I think even their asses, asses are bouncing a little ridiculously. Like those tits are flailing. Those are some flailing tits. Anything this way. Thank you, Kolya. The harp of my soul will never sound the same. Your music is touching streams with so much power. And thus, 
our incredible show continues. It's Today, still going on. I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean. The most scorching spectacle of today. Our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Oh. What's going on? The guy in the middle has a staff. The two on the ends have nothing. They're just like twirl. And there's fire. I can do it too. Okay, I'm done with that. Not very entertained. R2, I swear to Christ, if you enjoy this at the end, I'll be upset with you. Completely mind blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> You've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> and yet we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the new age. Th these introductions take Victor way too long. Minchuk with his fantasies. This Please mission, I might be done after all this you is you done. Also. Jesus Christ. Ooh. That Spanish guitar. Oh, he's a hipster. Was there more people in here? Like how there's a guy still at the piano this entire time, hasn't done shit forever. Forever. Are you not entertained, audience? This is really pretty, though. Look at all these things right up here. I knew more of this ecstasy, and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, How much? our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> okay. But, how many? Uh... How many we fucking things did they record for this? Greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. I round of applause I like that. to cheer our great musicians. My right speaker is playing louder right now. My left speaker is playing well. It does. Got both of them playing together now? Come on. I feel like I've gone through this enough. I just want the moral point. This is pretty bitchy music though. Because RTM wanted to see a fucking show from the Bolshoi. I guess I'm gonna tell you, say Bolshoi. But. Yes, that definitely was the musical innovation of the century. 
Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. Oh, like You've just fun. heard the <laughs> virtuosos of the Musca underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarni. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. It's over, finally. I hope you've enjoyed it as much that as was we like have enjoyed it. That was like 10 minutes. I, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to guess. Come again. I'm going to guess Astro, at least 7 minutes of just shit me just standing emotional. here. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet. I did. I got a moral point. It was worth it. I'm a patron of the arts. I got an achievement you can't see. All right, let's go. Artyom, no, enjoyed the show. Sorry, man. Time to move on. You patron of the art. Oh, oh. Oh, Pavel Igorovich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? Oh. You don't like us anymore. Oh, oh, oh. no. I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, teach you do. All those tattoos, man. Jana, or those just fucked up nets. In your dreams, you have your oh. love. Use that. Oh. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Oh. It's kind of weird. Literally, you're... you're... Artyom? No. Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes. It's a hard life without a soft one. Refugees again. More refugees. What's going on? Oh. What else? Another war. Looks like a fucking oh. war. Oh. Like the Reich again. Oh. 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 Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. They could be wiping out I'm good. Vermin. Only Jer Bear was here for all that. So let me go back real quick. I have this key to a safe. Did I pass the safe already? In that case, you should just marry him. Give me the fucking safe. Nice. Worth. Worth. Yeah. <laughs> Our team needs five minutes alone. Oh. Okay, good. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive. Huh? It's on me, okay? I'm a little bit nervous right now. Here you are. Do a special on the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink it to him. I think he's about to fuck me. There you are. Ah. Smooth stuff, huh? Yep. And this is a good place, but yeah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there. No food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order, and everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter... But I no saw a beggar. Through, I gave him a no bullet. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other. Sell their kids and slaves. Like this. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, order, order. Is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. Come on, Artyom, come on. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Fuck. So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. Fuck you, you, Pavel. Musketeer. 
are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is, Private. 